Halo Combat Evolved has just released for all of us awesome Halo gamers with brand new features, modes, I'm going to tell you how to get the game, the Xbox update which will be coming sooner, and double XP right now. So stay in tune throughout the whole video to understand all the details. <music> How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these news informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button as it greatly helps out the video and channel a lot guys, it truly does. So let's get right into the content here. So a couple of days ago we got a little bit of a teaser video just kind of showcasing the intro cutscene menu screen and a little bit of dialogue from CE. Getting people a little excited about it, we're like oh it's coming soon right for CE, kind of awesome. And then just boom, out of nowhere. CE has been released to PC, and so I'm pretty dang excited about that. I'm going to be playing a bunch of this, streaming a bunch of it on my Twitch. If you want to check that Twitch channel, link in the description down below. So there was a recent dev update that recently got released as well. Kind of give you the everything you need to know when it comes to Halo Combat Evolved coming to the PC and also these updates coming later to the Xbox. So let's get right into it. So, in a nutshell, the 360 MCC 2014 version of Halo Combat Evolved has now been released to PC. So now you get a chance to play that. But there's been some additional features added since the PC platform does require a bit more customization. 343 actually partnered with the company Saber Interactive, which actually helped with the MCC when it was originally being developed. And they actually kind of helped bring in their PC expertise into this whole thing. So let's get into some of the new features that are in with the MCC version on PC. Well, for CE, we have a brand new Spartan 3D customization model viewer, which looks a lot better than it did in the flighting process looks much more to proper scale the reflections on the visors are actually well there and uh, it just looks way better more like it's actually supposed to be there and seeing a ce spartan in the unreal 4 engine just looks so nice you also have the ability to toggle between the CEA and CE classic audios for multiplayer, where before it was only CE anniversary they had for the multiplayer options. Now you can actually use the old Combat Evolved audio for your multiplayer experience as well. I get a chance to try that out, and trust me, I kind of like the old classics audio. Even though it does sound a little more dated, it does sound a bit more beefy and a little more... I don't know, that's more uh, to it. So I definitely, do. and plus the, the audio is such an important immersive aspect when it comes to Halo that, uh, or just any games in general, that helps kind of bring you back to 2001 or 2011 or 2014 when you first played Combat Evolved. Obviously bringing it to PC, you had to have the mouse and keyboard support along with customizable keybinds, variable frame rate support, which apparently is an experimental feature as in basically you only have 60 FPS or unlimited. And those are the only two options you get. I've generally been, I got a chance to play the flighting process and I was playing on unlimited and I was getting like 200 frames in multiplayer. It's pretty smooth. I don't really notice any kind of ghosting or any framiness that happens like it does a little bit with uh, Halo Reach. So this is gonna be looking real nice with your nice brand new monitors that are gonna be going above 60 frames per second. I uh, got yeah, adjustable free field of view or FOV. Basically you can go from your classic, I think 70 FOV to I think up to like 120 I believe is the max and you so if you want to look like you're playing in fish islands well there you go uh, there's also ultra wide and alternative resolution supports so not your standard you know 21 by 9 format like every widescreen monitor is nowadays uh, you have various other things as well especially with your uh, ultra wide support and text to chat which has been brought to the mcc on pc uh, there is currently no option to uh, move it around or disable it at the moment which i would like to see hopefully come soon but text to chat's there if you guys want to use that now, if you also remember, during the flight, there was a little bit of a Halo Reach change as well. The crouching mechanic is a little different. So now play players on mouse and keyboard are able to use crouch while using full movement speed. And on controller, you can also, it's a little more generous when it comes to your crouching maneuvers. But apparently, I've heard that with the controller version, of playing on Halo Reach that you can't be at full movement speed and crouching, though the, the speed at what you can crouch at, it's much more generous than it was before. So that's a great feature for a lot of your keyboard and mouse players being able to crouch while moving. 
definitely gonna be very useful there. Uh, you have push talk feature, which is very important, especially when it comes to your competitive games. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. Uh, you can actually change that key binding now as well. And also we have a separate key bindings for uh, per title basis as well. So each game you can have your own kind of key bindings you would like to have for each game. Data center ping values are now visible on PC. So now you can know what the server pings that you're gonna be connecting to are going to be. Uh, if you guys know on the Xbox version, when you first log into the MCC, you get the message of the day. That's now on PC as well to keep everyone up to date whenever there's like an update or anything going on. And they have an updated zoom controls as well. If you guys uh, do know now that basically you can before with a lot of scopes in Halo, you had like a two times and like a 10 times scope or five times, 10 times scope. Basically, if you had a double scope on a weapon, uh, you had to bind it to a different key. Well, now what you can do is just say like, if you're using your mouse button, right? Your right mouse button does the zoom in. You click it again, it'll zoom in again, and click it again, it'll zoom you out. So that's one thing also updated there for you. So you can kind of free up a key if you want to use a 10 times scope, which trust me in CEBTB, you're going to be using that 10 times zoom. So definitely want to make sure you bound that to the proper key for you guys. Okay, great. We know about all these features. We know CE is on PC, but what are we going to be able to play when we want to play CE? Well, there's a select few modes you get a chance to play. Uh, we'll start off with the competitive games right here. For CE Hardcore Team Doubles, you have the 2v2 with Hardcore Slayer rules. Keep in mind when it comes to the Hardcore settings that there is no bullet spread on the Magnum or Sniper Rifle as well. So that shot is going to be shooting straight every single time, much like unlike in the social modes, which are going to be using the uh, vanilla settings which are much more uh, randomized bolt spread a little bit there but for your social games you're gonna have 1v1 precision slayer 2v2 precision slayer and asset denial 4v4 you got basically all your modes you're gonna want to play uh, a player free-for-all you got all the modes and you also have big team battle as well you can jump in and play uh, I'm definitely gonna be probably grinding out the ranked modes at first because generally a lot of times at least when it came to reach and mostly a lot of times with, with other games on the MCC and the console version that the ranked modes kind of die out and the social modes are kind of what's left of play so what i would suggest to jump in if you're playing multiplayer jump in and play your hardcore rank 2v2 while you still can uh because right now like from my experience uh, i cannot find a single ranked match whatsoever on either xbox or on pc so uh definitely want to jump in and try a little bit of that guys and also keep in mind that with halo reach also they brought in back the halo combat evolved anniversary play so if you don't remember what that is it was a uh, rotated in thinking for like about two weeks uh earlier back i think in december i think it was or maybe it was early january but um, they had a build basically it's like playing combat evolved but in halo reach with all new graphics the magnum the three shot in that game mode too it's a lot of fun uh definitely with much better spawn logic and better hit detection that's for sure and so uh definitely if you like playing halo reach and you like playing ce jump in and play that mode trust me guys it's a lot of fun now you're probably watching this video oh great pc gets all this awesomeness but what about us xbox players who have been playing since well forever well a lot of these updates are going to be coming in later on for you guys there is no exact date when these features will be coming to the xbox version but they will be coming 343 states that they will be sharing this information when it becomes available so i will definitely make a video on that when it does become available guys so make sure you tap subscribe to guys to keep yourselves updated whenever everything goes live uh, so yeah now you're probably wondering okay so we we have the game we know what we can play. We know what they've done. Where can I get this game on PC? Well, you can do uh, three different versions of it. You can get it on uh, Xbox Game Pass, which basically you're just paying. I think they, right now they have like a dollar a month setup kind of going for the whole thing. And you can basically we'll get all the Halo games as they come out to PC uh, just fine. That's what I've done personally. I have Xbox Pass, uh, Game Pass Ultimate, so I get any game I want on Xbox or on PC. Uh, as long as it's in the you know the, the package deal of the whole thing uh, you can also just buy the game on steam or on the microsoft store as well uh, you can buy the entire M mcc bundle for 40 dollars, and as soon as the games become unlocked it just you just have to go up and update your game there you go you can also buy each game individually for 10 dollars if you want to do that as well we also get a quick glimpse into the future of the mcc as now we're looking forward to halo 2 anniversary which is going to be releasing obviously after this halo 2 and halo 2 anniversary can be released at the same time interesting thing though in the section of this update they do mention about halo reaches the forge and theater mode in within the same section of things coming up my thoughts are that once halo 2 anniversary comes to the pc i would expect that's when forge and theater will come to halo reach as well so keep my eye out for that one guys 
Uh, if it goes anything like uh, CE's flight did, I'm assuming it's going to go rather smoothly, especially since there's already a PC version of Halo 2 uh, available, and that's kind of what the MCC version of Halo 2 is built on is off the PC version that I think a lot of the heavy lifting to bring it to PC has been done, much like CE. And we'll probably see Halo 2 possibly in May, June, possibly, something around those lines. So we'll keep an eye out for that, guys. Again, I'll keep you up to date how that process goes along. I've been invited to the, pretty much every flight since uh, the tail end of uh, Halo Reach, and so I definitely will keep you guys up to date when that happens. Talk about flighting, again, you guys can sign up for the Halo Insider program. Link in the description down below if you guys want to check that out as well. So yeah, that's everything you need to know when it comes to Halo Combat Evolved coming to the PC. Not so straightforward as you might have thought, huh? That's very true. So guys, if you like this informational video, please make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what you liked about Combat Evolved or what things you wish would happen with Combat Evolved coming to PC. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. If you're new to the channel, make sure you tap subscribe to keep yourself updated with everything happening within the Halo community. If you missed any content for me recently, check out the videos on the screen right now. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.